Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plug and Boutique and I'm back fresh off of vacation, feeling good. And I'm back just in time to let you know about this month's giveaway. For the entire month of March, with any purchase from Plug and Boutique, we're gonna be giving you Wavebox from Audio Thing. Wavebox is a dynamic dual wave shaper plugin that can be used for both symmetrical and asymmetrical distortion. It features two separate wave shapers that can be mixed together while being modulated by two LFOs and one envelope shaper. You can design your own wave shape and curves by combining and adjusting the 10 predefined functions. Wavebox can range from mild tube flavor distortion to extreme digital harshness. Now, while this plugin is really easy to use, it sounds absolutely phenomenal. What I'm gonna do for the rest of this video is just run it on a simple sine wave. It's gonna be a sub in this case, and this is one of my favorite methods of really hearing the character of any type of saturation and distortion. Once I know what it does to a simple sine wave, I can kind of imagine what it does on more complex ones like a guitar or a piano and so on. So let's go ahead and check that out. And of course, as I said, free with any purchase from Plugin Boutique for the entire month of March. So let's go ahead and jump into some audio examples of Wavebox from Audio Thing. All right, everybody, this is Wavebox on the screen here. I've got a decent little patch that I've made just tweaking it around on a nice sub bass, and this is what I've come up with. <laughs> it sounds really cool, and I figured that's a good place to start this part of the video. I'm just going to run you through the GUI real quick, show you what it has to offer, maybe kind of give you enough to get you started once you get your hands on it. And then what I'm going to do is play you the presets on a nice clean sub sine wave. That's the sub right there running in the back. If you can't hear it, you're going to need to put good speakers on or use some nice headphones. It's a super clean sub. And I always do that with saturation and distortion, as I already mentioned in the beginning of the video, because that's what gives me a clear profile of the saturation and distortion character. And then I can go from there and I know what each one does and how I should apply it to other instruments and other sounds. So that's being said, let's go ahead and run through the GUI real quick and then jump into that audio preview. And I'll leave chapters on the video if you want to skip to that later part of the video uh, and skip over the GUI overview here. But what we have are the shaping functions over here. We have 10 to, to choose from and then we have the amount at which we can apply it. The bias knob will go from curve to curve. So up here at the top at 100%, I'm just going to be using the curve one. And down here, I'm just going to be using curve two. But then I can blend between the two, and it shows us graphically what's going on. So just from there, it gives you a good idea of what you can do. So you've got the 10 different shapes, and then you can uh, apply that curve to varying degrees, and then you can mix the two curves together using the bias, and then you can really push it using the ceiling. And the input is going to be your best friend when using Wavebox because really driving the input to any distortion really is what makes the character really come to life because that's kind of where distortion comes from uh, naturally in the uh, circuits of the analog world, as it were. But you also have two LFOs here, which can be synced. You've got your rate and your amount, and then you can send them to either the two curves, the bias, or the ceiling, the cut off and the resonance of the filter over here, as well as the input, the mix, and the output knobs in the final master stage. So you've got two different ones. You can write to two different destinations. Then you have an envelope follower that works just like an envelope follower would. As an income signal comes in, you can apply the distortion. And as it tapers off, the distortion will taper off as well. And you have control over your tack release amount as well. Uh, filter, very straightforward. You do have four different filter types. You've got low pass, high pass, band pass, and a notch. And you can run pre or post filter in terms of the uh, distortion. And then you have your cutoff and your resonance amounts. You also have a hard clipper built in. Uh, again, it's just another way to get some cool distortion sounds. You can turn it on or turn it off. And then you also have oversampling, which is going to give you a more accurate representation of this distortion that's being made by the plugin. Whew. So that's a lot. Uh, it's actually a really simple plugin to use. And as I said already a couple of times, it gets really, really great results quite easily. So what I'm going to do is just run through the presets here and you get quite a bunch inside of the factory. And just to let you hear again, the character profiles that you can get from Wavebox. Mm -hmm. 